Hi there. Welcome back. So I'm really excited about this and I've actually been using it for a um, little over a week, I guess. So I have thoughts on it, but I'm also going to show you how to use everything that I got. So we'll go through everything real quick and then I'll show you how to fill it and just a little writing sample and the pens that I kind of compare it to size wise so it's a little different but this is from tom studios it's called the wren the lumos has been pretty popular for a little while this is a new pen that just came out so i did order this directly from tom studio but i actually have um i actually have a code for atlas stationers and they just started selling this so i will link my code down below and you can actually check this out via a US store to get it a little quicker. I did have some shipping issues. So if you're looking to pick it up in the US, you can get it from Atlas Stationers. And I will share my little code below. It's Heather's, he I always say it wrong. It's Heather Plans and it'll save you 10%. So with mine, they sent this popcorn tea. I'm not really sure. It's a tasty blend of English breakfast tea with notes of toasted brown rice and playful, oh, for a playful Japanese twist. I haven't tried it yet, but very fun little freebie. So I did pick up extra nibs, some storage things, and then the reservoirs because I like to change my ink and I kind of go back between at least a few different ones that I would keep it all the time and then that way I can just swap those out and I'll have to clean wastewater and things like that. So I did pick up a few extras but I'll go through those. I got this cute little card about their uh, earth friendly packaging and why they use the things that they do, what they mean, and then a little bit about Tom Studio. So we, uh, let's go ahead and look at the pen real quick. So it's called the Wren and it's a very small pen, very tiny, but when posted, it's the perfect size, I think. It fits really nice in my Eternal Leather Goods cover. It doesn't have a clip, but it is like uh, ridged, I guess is what you would call it. So it doesn't really roll. I mean, it will if you kind of lay it down hard, but it's got ridges, so it won't roll off the table. It is currently inked up, so I'm just going to show you what it looks like posted so it's the perfect size for me I have long fingers my hands are kind of small this part of my hand is small but I have really long fingers so I think it's a perfect fit for my hand I love writing with this thing it is so nice but it has this little they call it a Japanese fiber tip it's a different writing experience. There's a little bit of feedback you can feel from the fiber, but it's real smooth. I I really am enjoying this pen. So you can use it with pretty much any non, uh, what do they call it? Non specialty ink I don't know what they call it they call it something but they recommend you use it with something without any like special properties so no sheening no sparkles glitter of course because it can clog up these little reservoirs I think is what they call it so that is the pen. Mine is in sage and you can from Tom's you can order a different color base and a different color top but from Atlas you have to get it all one color. So and they have I think six or seven different colors. There are several color options. So I really like the pen though. In the little packaging it comes with your little instruction guide and then a tiny little vial of black 
tiny little vial of black ink from Tom Studios, which is what we're going to fill it with today. I just figured I'd use that. I could use a good black ink. Right now, I have mine filled with Dimine Oxblood because it's Halloween month and I like writing with a fun color for the month of October. So, I've been using that and I will continue to, but I am going to go ahead and swap everything out. I'll show you all the other pieces that I ordered. So the only thing that you're going to get with the pen is the pen, the box, the instructions, and this little vial of ink. Everything else I purchased separately. So I got replacement tips, which are the little nibs. So you get three, I think it was, I don't know, like three bucks or something. So you get three, three ninety nine maybe. And then these are the reservoir. So this is what you put the ink in. And they're just like little cotton. They're really neat. Little cotton things. And then I got these. And these are little storage containers to put your reservoirs and your used reservoirs to keep your ink inside. So I'm going to go ahead and use one of these and swap the nib. I'm going to go ahead and take the nib out too. You can clean them. That's the point is they want you to, um, you know, save on buying replacement pens so obviously throwing each part away would be counterproductive so but i'm going to since i plan on swapping back to this ink i'm going to just leave this nib and the reservoir i'm going to put them both in here and just save them both and that way i don't have to rinse it out waste water because I intend to reuse this again. So see, that's what it looks like full of ink. And so you just pull that out and your little nib is up there. You just put it down in here. And then I'm gonna use some tweezers and take this nib out. Whoops, I dropped my little piece. And I wonder if I can just, nope, it's not gonna be far enough down so I'm just going to drop this down in there as well and keep that safe so I can swap back to my ox blood whenever I want to so see all safe and sound in there I will report back to let you know how if those dry out or if anything I guess I should have been a little more careful I don't know which way this thing goes Oh, I think it just goes like that. Alright, so let's put our new nib in and get this filled. So, as far as I know, yeah, it just kind of like, whoops. That piece, let's not lose that. So, it just kind of keeps everything in there, I guess. And then, so we'll go with the tip. We will pop this up in there and then we'll get the little reservoir thing. And I don't think it matters. You just kind of slip it up in there and then keep it all together, hopefully. I don't know. That doesn't feel very secure. But it may have not been to begin with. <laughs> I don't know. Alright. So. I guess that's just how that goes. Uh, I think that's good. Yeah, that feels a little better. I just kind of moved it around a little bit okay so we're going to take this is how it comes when you get it it'll be like this 
screwed together, you'll take it apart. This is exactly what it'll look like when you receive it. And so I'm going to give this a little bit of a swirl just in case there's anything that's settled. And we'll get this filled. Let me get my little rag out because I don't like doing that on just my desk. All right. So, so what you're going to do when you fill it. There's a bubble. I don't want to pop a bubble and ink go everywhere. Ugh. Okay. Oh, that doesn't really look like black. Maybe it's purple? I thought all of the inks were black. Maybe not. It looks very purple. I mean, I'm not going to be mad at that at all. So, what you do is you stick this in when it, when the ink gets to the little top of the uh, metal part of the pen, you're going to count to five and then pull it out. You don't have to wait until it fills up to the top of the nib. It says to count five seconds and then pull it out. So, we're just going to stick this down in and you should be able to see, yep, there it goes. One, two, three, four, five. And then we'll pull it out. I kind of wish I had something. It didn't use hardly any of that ink. I thought it would. No, oh, it's not on. Okay. I thought it would just. This is a pretty interesting experience. I thought it would be. But it's not really like all over this. Maybe. Mm, I don't know what that. Okay. So then you're just going to put this on. And you can see how the tip is starting to turn. We've got that together. So we're just going to give it a second. I'm going to cap it and put all of my other parts back together. We're going to give it a second. But yeah, that used maybe um, a fifth of the ink. So see, I thought this would just be like a one use thing. There's a lot of ink in there. So cap that on good. And I'm going to go ahead and put these little pieces back. I want to keep them all together. Oh, nope. Keep everything together so I don't lose anything. have all of our parts back where they should be. Let's go ahead and get this stuff out of the way and get my planner out. We'll just do, so this is a Sterling Ink passport that I have done. So I've already done some tests. So you can see here where I did a test with Oxblood when I first got the pen. And this is my Pilot Vanishing Point with the same ink in it. So you can see there's noticeably a difference in the size. So this is a fine. And these don't have a tip size. But if you look at my Traveler's Company, it's a fine as well. It's obviously a lot more um, bold than the Japanese nib from the... The vanishing point but i feel like it's a pretty close match to the wren so if you're familiar with the traveler's company fountain pen and the fine point nib on it this wren is going to be very close to that nib size i really like it i think it's a real good size so let's go ahead and give it a test so this is tom studios and you can see now maybe it's black we'll see it just looked purple you can see the nib is the tip of it is fully colored. The rest of it doesn't get colored. Just that tip up there. All right, so. Okay. 
Well, it's definitely like a purpley color. I like that color. Hmm, I may use it for a little while. It's definitely like a... I want to say more like a hazy blue, like a gray blue. I really like that. But the pen writes, every time I've picked it up, it writes, it is really, it's a good weight, so it's not heavy at all, but it's not so lightweight that you, you know, that you feel like you're going to. I don't know. It's just a good weight. I feel like it's real nice. Comfortable to hold in the hand. I I really like this pen. I didn't think I was going to like it this much. I had some issues with it being... De it was delivered to the wrong address, like a couple hundred miles away. And then they delivered it back to the post office and they re-delivered it again. So I don't know if there was a weird thing with the scan or if something was going on with it. But it took me an extra week and a half to get it. But Tom Studios was amazing. The whole time they kept, keep they were keeping up with the tracking and told me that if it didn't return that they would, you know, go through the next steps. But they were, I mean, obviously I didn't want them to send me a new pen when it was still like <laughs> bouncing around. If it had sat anywhere for you know, a week, I would have been a little upset, but it was a couple of days in Nashville, and then it was delivered, and then within two days, it was back at the post office, then it was re-delivered, and then it was a couple more days, so by the time I was getting responses back and forth between them, it was back at the post office, so I wasn't too upset with the process, but and I don't blame Tom Studios uh, at all. I think they did a wonderful job keeping in contact with me and keeping up with everything. I was not sad about that service. But when you order overseas, things sometimes get lost. So, with the fact that they're available now in the U.S. And I'm sure they'll become more readily available. But I am super excited that Atlas Stationers has them because... I am an affiliate of Atlas and I love buying stuff from them and supporting them. Their company is a really, really nice company. I love being in their Discord and watching like all of the little shop shenanigans and things that they talk about. I mean, it's just, it's a fun little getaway from, you know, whatever, just to go and read things that everybody's talking about people who show up at the shop because they have an open shop in Chicago. So if you're close, you can pick these up. You can order them online and pick them up in the store. So, so you can use my code to save a little bit of money, but yeah, I really like that. I'm going to have to see if I can figure out what color that is though, because it doesn't say on the bottle. So, but I love the pen. The ink dries really quickly from the fiber. And I don't know, maybe they give different colors of ink with each one. But there was nothing in here that said anything on what color. It just says, like, how to fill it. And then it has stuff about the wren bird. Okay. And then there's nothing on here. It just says Tom Studio. So, maybe I can find out if they have a color that they send or if they just do random. But it's definitely not black. It's like a bluish gray color. In my bottle, anyway. So. But that is my little take on the Wren. And if you want to pick one up, you can do so from Tom Studios. I will have them linked down below as well. But I'm going to have Atlas Stationers too, so you can order it in the U.S. if you'd like. But, yep, that's my little tiny pen. It is so small. So small. Here is a Retro 51 beside of it. And they're small. So, 
tiny little pen. It's almost half the size. But when capped, not capped, when posted, it's just a little smaller. So that is my order from Tom Studios. And I am extremely happy with this pen. I hope you guys consider picking one up and giving it a shot. It's definitely a different pen. But for those of you like me who love different colors of inks and different properties from fountain pen ink, but don't necessarily love the grip or how you have to hold or your pens dry out or whatever different things happen with fountain pens we all know and love, but they do tend to be finicky sometimes. So this gives another option to use fountain pen ink and it makes me so happy. I do plan on picking up a Lumos, but I don't really think I can justify the price tag for not really, like I like to write with my pen and I feel like that one's a little more meant for art and creativity things. And I just don't use a lot. Like I'd like to use it for like the brush lettering and things like that. But for now, I think I'm gonna stick with this one. And I'll definitely let you guys know if I pick up the Lumos, but I am super excited for this Wren. I actually wanted to pick up another one in a different color just to have something different. But anyway, that's my review. I absolutely love this pen. I hope you guys will check them out. And if you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And it would mean the absolute world to me if you consider subscribing. I'll see you guys in the next one.